Hi, it's Brian, your 3D engineer. And today, we're going to talk about something a little different. Product data management, or PDM. What's PDM? Well, let's take a look at a typical product design process. Take this roller coaster, for example. Aside from being totally awesome, there are a lot of work to create, because during concept design, we want to explore lots of alternatives to solving the design challenge. Design challenges, you say? You mean like, how many loop-de-loops do I put in? In this scenario, yes. This might be a new idea or existing concept that's been reworked. It could be a sketch or a bunch of sketches, a model or a bunch of models. The more concepts that can be explored, the better, and we'll pick the best one to move to the next stage of product design. Once we have the concept, it's time to pass it on to engineering. What do they do? They look at how we can actually turn the concept into a product. More models, more revisions, more drawings. We'll have models for the individual parts, sub-assemblies, and even the full product assembly. Heck, it might even include parts from suppliers. Okay, so now we have a design that's gone through a two-part filtering process. We're done, right? Far from it. In many companies, we'll also need to test and validate the design. Today, that might be through simulation, analysis, and so on. More models are generated as we try to optimize the design to meet its requirements. Whoa! We might test to make sure it's strong enough or light enough, and when it comes to a roller coaster, you're going to want to test both strength and weight. <sighs> Believe me. So now that simulation is over, it's off to the manufacturing team, but not so fast. There are still a lot more models and a lot more drawings that need to be done before we can, well, be done. They'll design the mold, tools, jigs, and so on that are actually used to make the product design. Everything that'll help our product through its ups and downs. Now, let's take a step back. We've gone through four different processes to get our product where it needs to be. We have quite a paper trail, and there are outdated models everywhere. If you're not careful, all those models and drawings end up scattered across the company. Joe in engineering will tell you, I can find any model or drawing I've worked on thanks to my unique way of indexing my design data. But it won't help when he's on vacation, or busy, or when you're looking for Steve's designs who retired last year. I know what you're thinking. Just use a shared folder to organize these models and drawings, Brian. But what happens if Joe accidentally overwrites my design? You're back to recreating it all from scratch. And just because all these models and drawings are in one place, that doesn't mean they'll be easy to find. What you need is a management tool that manages your product data, or a product data management tool. Huh, that last one sounds pretty catchy and familiar. PDM. PDM can help organize the data across your team, help protect it, and make it fast and easy to find a design through powerful search capabilities across projects and products. For example, I can easily find all the designs Joe submitted for the last project that are designed in steel and that were approved by the simulation team. One of the models is exactly the design I need to complete my project. So, I'm one step closer to getting this product finished. And today's PDM tools don't require an army of consultants and zillions of upfront consulting. Now you can install, configure, and train your team on PDM in under one day and be pleasantly surprised by your ROI. Whether your team is local, global, the size of a carnival, or a theme park, PDM has you covered. Want to know more about PDM? Go here to learn more. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some important business to attend to. Until next time.